Life Lesson 4.1, we're looking at an introduction to inequalities to learn about what they are and how we can graph them on a number line. So let's look at our vocab. A solution to an inequality, unlike an equation, an equation had most of the time one solution, like we got x equals 2 or x equals 5. Sometimes there were special cases we talked about, special cases being that there could be no solutions or it could be any number worked. For an inequality, it has many solutions. So an example of inequality is a less than or greater than, or less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. These are inequalities. So if I say x is greater than 2, that means every single number that's greater than 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, they're all going to be solutions to the x is greater than 2. And then we can graph those solutions on a number line. So a one variable graph, we use a number line. So when we were plotting those points, we had an x and a y, that's two variables, that's when we had the coordinate plane. But if we just have one variable, whatever that variable happens to be, we use a number line. Okay, so we're going to use words to help us write an inequality. A boat must be at least 24 feet long. So it's we instantly want to see that word least and think less than, but if we really think about what this means, it must be at least 24 feet. So really it's saying that boat can be 24 feet long, but that's the smallest it can be. So it can be 24 or it can be bigger than that. So it can be 24, 25, 26. So let's use B for boat. It has to be bigger than or equal to 24 feet. It has to be at least. That means that's the least amount it can be or bigger than that. A golfer's longest drive so let's use maybe G for golfer. His longest drive is 325. So the absolute farthest he's ever driven it is 325. That means that everything else has been less than that. So less than that. But he did one time get it equal to that. So we want the equal to part also. We want to include this line underneath if that number is okay. If we want that to be part of the solution. If we don't want that number to be part of the solution, that's when we have um, the open circle and that's when we have the no line underneath it means that answer is not included the maximum speed of a car so we'll do C for car you can do S for speed is 180 that's the fastest it can go it can go that so it can be equal to that or it's going to be less than that it can't go higher than that the lowest attendance so the lowest the attendance is is 580. That means it could be 580, 581, 582, and so on. So it's bigger than, but it could be exactly 580. So attendance has to be bigger than or equal to 580. And in all these cases, it just happens to be that that number is included, but that's not always going to be the case. Now we're going to graph these on a number line. So if we've already solved whatever equation we're sol inequality we're solving, we get the solution x is greater than or equal to 5. So the easiest way to do is we're going to put the 5 in the middle, and then I'll finish my number line, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I go to the left, 5, 4, 3, 2, and so on. So we do have the equal to part in this one, so that means I'm going to fill in that circle at the 5. And I need x values that are greater than 5. So if you're not sure which way to shade, we can pick a number. Should I shade towards the 4 or the 6? So let's test out the 4. So if I test out the 4, I'm going to take this and I'll plug in 4 for x. 4 is greater than or equal to 5. Is that true? No. Let's try the 6 instead. Is 6 greater than or equal to 5? Yeah. So then... If I want values for x that are greater than 5, I want the 6, 7, 8, and so on. Those numbers are greater than 5. And again, you can always check by plugging it in and seeing if it works. If it works, you shade it in the right direction. If it doesn't, you don't want to shade that way. I'm going to get the negative 2 in the middle. Be careful when you're making number lines with negatives, because I'm getting bigger is actually going to be negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Seems a little bit backwards, so easy to make a mistake when you're putting negatives on a number line. 
this one does not have the equal to part, so I want an open circle at the negative 2. And I want values for y that are less than. So I want the numbers to get smaller. Which way are numbers smaller? Negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, those numbers are smaller than negative 2. So I'm going to shade towards those smaller numbers. Because less than implies smaller. Greater than it would imply bigger. Number 7. We have 2 is greater than p. So everything else, the variable's been on the left. And I can rewrite this. So notice that the big side is facing the 2, the pointy side is facing the p. So if I rewrite this and I flip these around, that's okay as long as it still fits that. The bigger side has to face the 2, the pointy side has to face the p. As long as that's still true in both of these and these are equivalent. And now I can easily see that I want values for p that are less than 2. So let's fill in these numbers quick. And let's see, I do not want it filled in because it does not have the equal to part. Any values for P that are less than 2. And then before we move on, we can look at this. We rewrote it with the P on the left. Or you can also read it backwards. So this one in, circled in green here says P is less than 2. Or if we look back here at our original... I can just read it backwards. Start with the P and say P, and then when I'm going from right to left, I'm going backwards. I actually see that pointy side first, which means less than. So P is less than 2. So it depends on which way you're reading it. If you're reading it from left to right, I see the big side first, I say greater than. If I'm reading it backwards, I would see the small side first and say less than. Or if that's confusing for you, just rewrite it like I did here in the green one. Okay, then we're going to go backwards. I have a number line. I want to know what the inequality was for it. So I'm just going to choose to use x for my variable. And I know that I'm looking at a 3. And I have values that are going to the left. So like towards 2, 1, 0. Well, those numbers are all less than 3. And I have a filled in circle, not the circle I made. So then I need to have that or equal to part. And number 9, let's choose to use y this time because it doesn't matter what variable we use. And I know I need the 2 because that's where we're looking at here is the 2. And it's going towards a 3, 4, 5. Well, those numbers are all bigger than the 2. And because that is an open circle and it's not filled in at the 2, then I do not want the equal to part. So any other notes you want to make for yourself off to the side, um, if you need to remind yourself, how to read inequalities less than or greater than if you need to remind yourself that um, if you have the line underneath it that you want to fill in the circle any of those notes you want to make for yourself go ahead and write those off to the side